Alrighty guys, so we're on to the metadata panel, which we can open by clicking the this little arrow right here to expand the panel. Or we can also use our shortcut, which we talked about earlier, which if you guys remember is just control plus the number of the panel, which would be 1, 2, 3, and 4 for metadata. So metadata is panel number 4. I'm going to hit control plus 4 to expand the metadata panel. Now right here we have our list for our metadata sets. And each metadata set is basically going to show you a different group of metadata options that you guys can view as well as edit. So right now the metadata set that's selected is my default set. And the default set kind of shows a little bit of everything. It shows a little bit of my file names, my copyright metadata, some of my EXIF data, which is the information from the camera on how the image was shot, everything. It's really one of the most useful metadata views because it kind of has a little bit of everything in, in this default grouping. Now some other important metadata sets are the EXIF, which is basically all uh, camera information on how that shot was taken. Another important metadata set is this IPTC set. And basically what the IPTC is, well IPTC stands for the International Press Telecommunication Council. And basically they are a standards organization for metadata. So they're the ones that create the metadata standards that all the software companies adopt. So like a Lightroom supports IPTC and they, they basically support all the different metadata standards that this organization creates. So if we look here we have information on contact information, on the actual image content information, on image details, on status, copyright, everything. So there's a ton of information that can be filled out and all this information will go right along with the photos when they're exported. So when you're up uh, uploading these images to Flickr and things like that, it'll contain all this information and Flickr will be able to use however much that they support, which Flickr should support basically everything that the IPTC creates because they are the standard. All right, now IPTC extension gives you basically an extended listing of information that you guys can also have. So, uh, I mean, really everything is pretty self-explanatory. There's no right or wrong way to really fill this kind of stuff out. You guys can choose how much you want to fill out. The best way to basically fill out this information is to create keyword presets in Lightroom, which will allow you to basically choose a preset, and then it'll apply all the presets to that. Otherwise, you're going to be editing metadata on every single catalog every single time with all the images and stuff like that. So presets are really the best way to go, and we're going to teach you how to create the presets and apply them in the next video. Before we get to that, I just want to go through a couple other of the metadata sets. We have large caption, which will basically allow you to add in a large piece of caption, uh, like if you have a big storyline or whatever you guys want to to say along with that image. Large caption is the place to basically write your big paragraph of information. We also have location information. Um, if your camera has geotagging, it'll be included as well in the metadata. We have the minimal view, which is just going to show a few options. And then we have the quick describe, which is basically going to just going to give you a few metadata options to fill in, just to quickly describe the image. So probably the most useful is uh, the, the default view, which is going to give you the copyright information that you guys can fill out. It's also going to show some of the EXIF data uh, from the uh, camera. As well as I also like to view EXIF data and IPTC. So these are kind of the two, the three different metadata sets that I stay in most of the time. So let's move on to the next video. We're going to show you guys how to add your copyright metadata as well as create a preset for it.